Good evening, everybody. John Thompson again. Uh, this is basically going to be uh, the next uh, video on my World War II conversion of the uh, USS Arizona to the USS Pennsylvania. So uh, I got a lot done today. I got a new superstructure. Uh, the forward part arrived today. Ironically, from Shapeways, I was expecting it to be in one p uh, in in several pieces actually to put the tripod mass together separately it's all one piece uh when it's done it went together very nicely when i installed it however uh painting it was a bit of a challenge i recommend that you paint the superstructure before installing it um, there's a lot of area had a lot of surface area and some spots were pretty hard to get to so th that's what i would recommend uh with with that part of the model other than that it looks great it detailed nicely uh definitely dress up the model um i have a lot more to show you today as a matter of fact i have the model i'm going to show you what i did today today as you can see i got the uh port side of the hull here and you can see that i put the new superstructure on it looks fantastic uh i did have a problem though uh Gold metal models, their halyard booms, which is what I expected would be a problem. Uh, the metal is very flimsy and very thin, and unfortunately, it's not forgiving if you fold the uh, flag booms the wrong way. Luckily for me, I had the tom set that was attached to the old superstructure, so with a little bit of uh, effort, I was able to get it off, and I relocated it and reused those parts again on my tripod so they look great so that's that's a big improvement there uh the other thing i added was uh, i wanted to basically go through and put my um anti-aircraft guns on uh, i wound up ripping off the ones i scratch built uh, they looked kind of crude and i wasn't overly happy with the appearance uh what i did was i took the trumpeter ones and so now I got about uh, three anti-aircraft guns left. Uh, I'm going to probably wind up replacing the ones on the stern because uh, they were photo etch uh, with with these. So this way it looks more uniform. Uh, although I do have a couple more tubs I have to make, so that's something that I have to do in the future. But uh, the other thing I wanted to show you was uh, I put also on this um, forward here. This looks like this could be a um, a gun tub for a 40 millimeter mount however uh i did run into a problem with that i put the 40 millimeter mount in and it didn't look right for some reason so what i did was i looked at the 1944 picture and they show a range finder on there now the other thing i did was i went to the, the port side just like i did yesterday i was telling you about uh plating over the portholes and making the hull look a lot better. It does change the model. I started to add some raft detail here. And you can see I even put these little cranes back here, which are uh, on the new fire tower, uh, aft fire tower. And you can see got the funnel on and the, the brand new superstructure. Shapeways uh, will again uh, get you the superstructure but it's in one piece uh the 1938 uh, version of the arizona that i did using the 1935 superstructure it was actually in several pieces uh which was great it made painting nice to do uh and also photo etch detailing when shapeways sent me the superstructure for the world war ii version it was all one piece molded so it was all done so that made painting a little bit tough there were a couple areas like i said again that were very hard to get to so i would definitely recommend painting it again before installing it so this brings you pretty much to what's going on this is going to be uh, i guess i'll call it part 12 and at least so we guys have an update of what's going on uh, i may be adding blisters on the hull too as well i'm looking to see uh from a dry dock picture of the pennsylvania apparently there's some blisters uh that are extended along the hull so that's something i'll have to look into but other than that that's pretty much it the model is coming together very nicely and it is a marked difference from what it was when i started so have a good evening